Hello you drawbridge masturbators. Another iconic movie that celebrates its 60th anniversary on Halloween. Well, if you need an ice cream, I, I guess you better have some. I mean, it's pretty hot and all. But remember, this is the last time this week. All right, Daddy. Blanche wants some too. We gotta have some ice cream for Blanche. Uh, I, I don't want anything. What do you think you're trying to do? I always say it's the parents' fault. Now this sounds like a case of life imitating art and vice versa. Two Hollywood legends with such a rivalry. One playing a former child star who's looking after the other, an ex-movie star bound to a wheelchair. The fucking resentment on screen is toxic, but we're glued. Oh, Jane, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to ring for my breakfast. I was just wondering who all those people were at the back door. It wasn't anything. Just that nosy Mrs. Bates going on about your picture last night. Oh, really? Did she like it? Oh, really? Did she like it? While Jonathan Demme was considered untested before Science of the Lambs, Robert Aldridge was in a similar position before Baby Jane came along. The script had everything in it to make it a hit. It would have increased Aldridge's reputation and put Davis and Crawford back in the public eye. Betty Davis was a trailblazer. She'd won two out of 11 Academy Award nominations. She was the first actress to win five back-to-back -back nominations. If there was one movie that solidifies her as a legend, it's all about Eve, one of the greatest movies ever made. I had no idea you were even here. Well, I ran into Eve on my way upstairs and she told me you were dressing. That's never stopped you before. We started talking. She wanted to know about Hollywood. She seemed so interested. She's a girl of so many interests. It's a pretty rare quality these days. A girl of so many rare qualities. So she seemed. So you've pointed out so often. Joan Crawford had her highs and lows. When the 1930s ended, she'd made dud after dud and was in a rough patch until her comeback in Mildred Pierce, which put her back on top and earned her an Oscar. And there's nothing you can do about it. Children, use your head. This won't solve anything. Her star was shining, but her reputation as being a bit of a pain in the ass persisted. Batman fans might recognize Victor Bueno, a.k.a. King Tut. We are pleased to inform you that phase one of our royal master plan has succeeded as prophesied. The relationship between Davis and Crawford through the whole Baby Jane affair and the following movie, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. Their legendary rivalry became the subject of a 2017 miniseries aptly named Feud. I didn't even get a tingle till I was 25, and then I waited another two years before I did the deed, and that was on my goddamn honeymoon. <gasps> well, in the desert that was my childhood, I was grateful for any kind of genuine affection. Davis by Susan Sarandon, Crawford by Jessica Lange, and the suffering director Aldridge by Alfred Molina, AKA Doc. Oc. Psychobiddy. Hagsploitation. Now that sounds quite insensitive. Baby Jane was the start of the older woman villain. Without it, would we have Deep Red, Carrie, or Friday the 13th? Who knows? Yeah, let's see. What's his number again? Under no circumstances, tell my sister the contents of this note. 